Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and today I'm going to show you one of the menu items or apps that's on the Casio CG50. It also can be put on other graphing calculators. It's a downloadable app if it's not already on there. So the reason I'm doing this is because I got a question on YouTube about how to use the constants, and I didn't know what the question meant, and they were talking about, and I'm going to arrow down to this, the physium application. So I'd never explored this myself since I'm not a science teacher. So I went and explored it. So I thought I'd kind of share what it is because I don't think people realize that there's these amazing apps that are on this graphing calculator. And so if you hit, I went down to Physium, I could have done Alpha L, I'm going to hit Execute and it opens up. And there's two choices. You have the periodic table or the fundamental physical constant constants, which is what the question was about. But I, I want to first look at periodic table. So it's chosen. I'm going to hit execute and you can see it's the periodic table. Very small. Can't see it, but you can search. You can look at the series. You can make it large. So if I hit F4, I can actually see these as I'm going through them and I can arrow to different elements um, within the table, right? So let's hit execute back. I can look at a series of them. So I can look at the, let's look at the Earth series and it shows me the series here and I can go into the earth ones the gas those types of things now I'm not a scientist so I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at here but that's not the point the point is there's this amazing app in here what I found as I was searching though let's go large again um, I can get details so if I arrow to one of the elements in this chart let's choose this one and I hit F6 for detail. This is what I love. This would be such an amazing uh, support for students who are in science class because it tells you what it is. It gives you some detail. Um, it gives you the weight. It gives you interesting things about it. It's used to ma in match heads, gives you a real world example. Uh, so we can go to another one. Let's, I don't know, let's pick one of these gray ones here and hit detail again and this is gallium metal and again it gives me an example of where it's used what its weight is that type of thing just i i think this is so exciting that this is in here uh, another thing that you can do is let's say you don't know the metal you're searching for but you know it's atomic weight right so you can search these by name symbol number or weight so if students are oh I don't remember what the name of this is but I know it's the atomic number that they can go into number and put in the atomic number and search for it or if they know the weight they can let's exit out here if they know the symbol if they know what the symbol is they can type the symbol in and it will or they can search you'll notice that in symbols we actually have all the symbols and their weights here so I I can choose one let's choose this one and it shows me where it is in the table I can then look at its symbol its weight all those inf interesting things about it so this is an amazing resource just a very simple app periodic table gives you lots of information great use for students so let's exit back out and that was a periodic table. So let's go down to the fundamental physical constants, which is what the question that originally got me into this um, app was looking for. So again, I'm arrowed down to it and I hit execute. And you'll notice that they're categorized by phys physical, chemical, atomic and nuclear, electromagnetic, universal. So if I just choose one of this, I think electromagnetic sounds interesting. So let's choose that. And it's all the different constants for electromagnetic and the question that actually came up in the process was how do I use these constants in a um, calculation right so what I found is you can store them alphanumerically so let's say let's go with this one let's say and I'm sorry again not a scientist so I don't know what this represents but we're gonna go with geo and I want to store it so I'm gonna say okay store this and it's gonna store it in the alpha Numer I mean the alpha memory so let's make it make sense I'm storing um, this so I'm going to store it as a G and I'm going to hit execute now it's stored so then let's store I don't know this one R again sorry not a scientist so I don't know what these mean I pleading ignorance here so let's store this as R um, oh sorry I have to actually use my alpha alphanumeric key here and I was using my keyboard but alphanumeric where is the R there there it is so I'd hit that so 
and I hit execute. So I've got G and R stored in there. So then how would I use it in the calculation? Well, I can store as many as I want. I need to make sure I remember what I stored them as. I'm going to hit exit. Uh, and by the way, you can get detail on the constants. Oh, so this is the von Klitzing constant. So that's good to know. Um, so hit exit. So now I'm going to go to menu and I'm going to go back to number one. So I'm just going to hit numeric to get myself back there, which is the math. Um, that's the run matrix, right? So I'm going to hit execute again. And so now what did I save? I saved a G and L. Let's say I want to do a calculation, which this probably makes no sense to scientists, and I apologize, but I'm trying to show you how you can use these constants by saving them in the alpha numeric storing, and now you can use it in a uh, calculation. So let's just do something simple. So I'm going to do um, alpha G times alpha R, I think is what we did, right? Um, and let's hit execute. And I get an answer. Obviously, those were uh, simple numbers. But this is just another way to uh, use this menu item. So let's go back down to um, our physium. So again, periodic table, fundamental constants. I'm sure there's a lot more that you can do with it. But it's got the constants that you um, might need in different uh, calculations and Oops, I went to the wrong thing here, so let's cross that out. Say, um, so different constants, it tells you about them. You can store them. You can edit them, which is also something that I found very interesting. You can actually edit them. Let's maybe it's too many decimals or you want to just have it down to tenths, those kind of things. You can save and edit them if you want to do that. Um, you can set them back to their initial if you want to. You can set them all back to their initial. You can get their details. So this is a really nice resource for students who are working in science and need to look up something. They don't remember what it means. The name, it's all right there on the calculator.